Hey, friends, what's up? Welcome back to Babylon Talmud. Uh, one second, I should probably check when Shabbos starts so that I don't uh, record on Shabbos, but I can't. I'm in the middle of recording. How do I check? Well, the mice, uh, yeah, I'll probably be okay. Um, where are we again? So, welcome back to Babylon Talmud. Today we're studying Daf uh, Dalit, Daf 4 of Mesechta Rosh Hashanah. Um, Friends, Daftal, uh, uh, not too much spaghetti. This is probably more like uh, um, lasagna, you know, pasta, but not, uh, not, you know what I mean, or maybe not. Um, but the first part of the daf, we 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 talk about what Rav Chizda said yesterday, which is that uh, when we say that, when we say that uh, Nisan is the Rosh Hashanah, the Malachim, that's for Yiddish Malachim, but um, for non-Jewish uh, kings, so it is Tishrei. Um, we are now going to analyze that a shtickle more, and then we're going to talk about Daryovish. Uh, king Daryovish, was he a uh, good king, or was he shtickle nudnik? And then we will discuss the suga, which we discussed recently in Masech Tabetza, Baal Te'acher, that when you have a neder, if you have a korban to bring to the Beis Amitash, that you got to bring it within uh, a certain time period, Generally, um, you know, it shouldn't be more than three regalim. We're going to see um, a number of opinions regarding that. And then also the concept of tashlumin. If you did not offer your korban chagiga on the first day of Yom Tif, that you could, um, you know, um, for example, if you didn't bring it on the first day of Pesach, you have until the end of Pesach to bring your korban chagiga. Friends, let us jump in. So, Mosiv Rav Yosef. So, Rav Yosef asks Akasha. This is still a shtickle bit of like, uh, you know, analyzing Psukim to try to figure out uh, different months and dates. So, most of Yosef, so Yosef Asakasha. So, says of Chizde, so of Chizde had said that um, Jewish kings, their new year is from um, Nisan, but non-Jewish kings, the new year is from Tishrei. All right, sounds like fun. Most of Yosef, Yosef has a kasha. Okay, so there's a pasuk in where is this? Ezra. Ezra chapter three, verse two. Ezra chapter three, verse two. Okay, so there's a in Chagai. Okay, the next two pesukim are from Chagai. So it says that it was the twenty fourth day of the month, Bashishi, um, on the sixth month, Bashana Bishnashtaim the Dayavish, in the second year of the reign of Dayavish. Okay, so the sixth month, the sixth month being um, what's the sixth month? Elul. Okay. Uchsev in the Pazak says Bashvi in the seventh month, which is Tishrei. Be'esim ve'echel lechodesh on the 21st of the month. Vim Isa, and if it's true that Tishrei, when it comes to non Jewish kings, and if we're talking about Daryovish, who is a Gentile, so if we're saying that the non Jewish kings, uh, their new year is based on Tishrei, well then, Bashvi bishnas gimel mi What the Pazak should say, is not just in the seventh month, but in the seventh month and the third year, that it's now the next year. It's no longer the second year, it's now the next year, it's the third year. But it doesn't say that, which implies that then Tishrei must not be the new year for Gentile kings. So Amr Babo says of Babo, Koresh Melech Kosher Hoyo, that Koresh, what, like Koresh is the letters of Kosher, that Koresh was a Kosher king, he was a good guy. Therefore, his reign was counted based on um, Nisan, like the Jewish kings, not um, based on Tishrei, like the non-Jewish kings. Maskif Rav Yosef, Rav Yosef, as Akasha and Rav Avo Chada. Here's the first question. He's got two questions. Here's the first one. Dimkin Kashu Adade. Rav Avo, if what you're saying is, is correct, that because Daryovesh was a um, kosher king. He was a givaldiga fellow. So therefore, his reign was counted based on Nisan, not Tishrei. Well then, I don't understand. Because the Pasuk says, that the building of the Beis Amikdash got delayed until the third day of Adr. Okay. He shnas shis lemalchus daryavish malka. And that was the sixth year of the reign of Daryovish. So other, now if we're saying like Rabbabo, 
that Daryavish's reign was counted based on Nisan. So Adar, which is the month that we're talking about in the Pasuk, was the last month of the year. And then, um, okay, it was the last month of the year. We're saying that it was the sixth, in the sixth year. Okay. Vitania, we learn in the Bible, but also Zman Lashon Abba, that we have a Pasuk in Ezra that says that it was at this time the next year. Well, it said, we have a Bryce that says that about Ezra, that at this time, that at that time, in the, in the following year, Allah Ezra mi Bavel, Ezra made Aliyah from Bavel, the Galuso Imo, he came with his exiled people, Uchsev. And what does the Pasuk say, Darin? Vayavo Yerushalayim, Uwa. They came to Yerushalayim. Lemaisa, I live in Yerushalayim. He came to where I live, Lemaisa. Bachodesh Achmishi, in the fifth month, which is of, Hishna Sashviyas. Lamelech, which is the seventh year of the king. So now, interesting. So we're saying that um, the previous pasuk was in order of this year, uh, of, of, of the sixth year. And we're saying that one year, one full year later, Ezra came, and it was, I guess, a little bit more than a year, so it was of, and yet it's calling it the seventh year. So the pasuk that talks about other was the sixth year. And then sort of 18 months later or so, around that, whatever it is, so I think actually exactly 18 months later, we're saying that it was of of the seventh year. But if the Rosh Chodesh for, the, for Daryavesh was Nisan, well then, Adar would be the sixth year. Comes Nisan, it's now the seventh year. And then if, if sort of, you know, 15 months after that, or 17 months after that, uh, would be of, of the year, the subsequent year, that would be the eighth year. Vim Isa, if it's true, that Daryavish, because he was a kosher, so his reign was counted based on Nisan, like the Jewish kings, but then regarding these two psukim, it wouldn't be other of the sixth year and of, of the seventh year, it should be other of the sixth year and of, of the eighth year. Vim Isa, Shnasa Shminis mi Baile, it should be the eighth year, not the seventh year, the Ode, and more so, Midami, are they dissimilar? Hosam Koresh Vashad Yovish. Rabbi Bo gives a funny response because the Pasuk is talking about Daryovish. The Pasuk is talking about the reign of Daryovish, to which Rabbi Bo answers, well, Koresh was a kosher. What does Koresh have to do with anything? We're talking about Daryovish, Rabbi Bo. Tanu Koresh, Daryovish, Uartach Shasto. So we say that Lemaise, Koresh, was the same person as Daryavesh, was the same person as Aitach Shasta, Koresh, Shemelech Kosher Haryo. He was called Koresh because he was a, he was a kosher, a good king. Aitach Shasta, Hashem Malchuso, um, he's called Aitach Shasta because of the Aitach Shestein dynasty. Um, all right, I guess apparently that was a thing. Uma Shmo Daryavesh Ma, what was his real name? What is, what did, you know, what did they, what was his real name on his birth certificate? Daryavesh. We call Malcolm Kasha. But unless it's still a question. Okay, fine. So we can answer the question about why are you calling him Koresh if it was Daryavish. Fine, Koresh and Daryavish were the same fellow. But what about those Psukim? How do you understand those Psukim that say other of the sixth year and of, of the seventh year shouldn't be of, of the eighth year if we're counting Daryavish's reign based on Nisan? So Amr Bitzlag Lo Kasha. Bitzlag says it's no problem. Kan Kodim Shechmitz, Kan the Acher Shechmitz. Well, Daryavish started out as a good fellow, but in the end, he uh, became a nudnik. So when he was a good fellow, so then his reign was counted based on Nisan. Once he became a nudnik, so then his uh, reign began to be counted based on um, Tishrei, like the non-Jewish kings. I wonder how an ant got on my uh, light thing. Where should that ant have come from? Uh... I guess that makes me a little bit, uh, I guess that's unsettling. Uh, so friends, you got that? So uh, Daryavish was good, then he became a Nudnik. What do we do to Nudniks? We change their uh, counting date. So, so when he was a kosher, his counting date for his reign was based on uh, Nissen, like the Yidden. And when he became a Nudnik, so they changed it to be based on... Um, Based on what, friends? Based on Tishrei, like the um, Gentile kings. Fine. 
Maskets of Kaine Umi Echmitz. If Kahana now asks Akash, he says, wait, did Daryovish, did he really become a Nudnik? Vilksiv, one second, we have a Pasuk that says that Daryovish sent Ezra to Eretz Yisrael. And it says, Umachoshchon, Uvne Sorin, Vidichrin, Vimrin. He says, whatever you guys want for your Beis Hamikdosh, whether it's oxen, whether it's rams, whether it's sheep, la lovun de loshmaya for korban olas for the abishter, chintin bla chamar umshach, wheat and salt and and wine and oil, whatever you want, kimamer kainayet b'dibi ushleim, whatever the kohanim want for the beis hamikdash, lehab misyayiv lohem. Yom biyom, make sure that they have whatever they want for every day. And this was at that same Tkufa, the same time that we're calling the Ayavish and Udnik, that we're saying that it must be that the rain was based on Tishrei, how could it be? It must be it was a Nudnik. At that same time, he was saying, what it felt, whatever you guys want for the Beis HaMikdash, it's yours. Dilo Shalu, that, uh, you know, that, right, that, right, that, that, um, right, that there should always be enough darin for the, uh, Beis Hamikdash. Omlu Rabitzchok. So says Rabitzchok, Mitunach. So Rabitzchok responds to Evkane. He says, from that exact pasuk that you're bringing, I can ask you, I, there's your answer. That if you keep on reading, it says, Dilohon Mehakravin, Nichochin Leeloshmaya. That they're going to offer uh, korbanis to the Ebishter, umatzalin chayimalkov noi, and pray for the life of, of the king and his family. So we see that, that, um, 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 that, uh, Daryovish really only had his own interests in mind. It wasn't, uh, the Shem Shemai. He wasn't donating all these things, uh, uh you know, the Shem Shemai. He was donating these things. So that they will pray for him because that was his intention. Um, it wasn't pure and he was a nudnik. Okay. But one second. Whoa, wait up. The Gemara wants to know what you're not allowed to do that. Oh, okay. What's with this ant? Let's remove the ant from here. Oh, I, I didn't remove him. Uh, wait one second. Let me, uh, handle this situation. I'll be right back. Okay. Uh, situation handled. So is there something wrong with doing uh, tzedakah and stuff for uh, for your own reasons? Ve'atani, we learned about it. Omer, a fellow who says, Selazol tzedakah, I'm donating this sela, this coin to tzedakah, b'shvil she'yichri banai, so that my children will live, b'shvil she'ezkel ba l'chai olam haba, so that I should get to, I should merit to the world to come. Harei ze tzadik gomor. He's a gevaldi geyid. He's a tzadik. So what's wrong with the fact that Daryavesh was donating all these things that they would pray for him. Doesn't seem anything to be wrong with that. Tzadik gum. Low kash, it's no problem. Can be Yisrael, can be Ovdei Kochovim. Depends if he's a Yid or if he's, in, or if he's, or if he's a Goy. So if he's a Yid, so then, um, if he's a Yid, so then you could give Tzadaka, you know, for, for your children or, you know, to, so you can go to Olam Haba, all that stuff and you're a Tzadik Gomer. But uh, I guess if you're a Gentile, it uh, doesn't work the same way. So therefore, Dayavish was a nudnik. All right. Fine. Viva Yisema. And if you want, I will say, Minolon de Ahmed, how do I know that Dayavish uh, became a nudnik? The Chsiv is the positive says, Nidbach in the Evan Glal Tloso, Vnidbach di O Chadas. That how was the Besamikdash built? The Besamikdash that Dayavish funded and allowed. Um, how was it built? Well, it was three rows of marble followed by one row of wood. Vinafkaso min base malko to and it says, and all of the expenditures should come from, from, from the, from the, from the treasury, from, uh, Daryovish's treasury. Lomale da avirachi. How come Daryovish, um, um, architected the walls of the Beis Hamikdash so that it should include wood? Savar, because he figured, well, imardu bi yudai, if the yidden end up Rebelling against me, ikalia benura. I'll burn it down to the ground. So you see that Toyovish was a nudnik because already in building the base of he was, he was, he was building into it sort of the fact that if he needs to, he'll just burn it down. 
So he was a nudnik. Atu Shlomo lo avirachi, but for the Gemara, one second, didn't Shlomo make this have sort of build the same design into the, his base of Mikdash? For the base, uh, the pasuk says Shloshu Ture Gazes. It was three rows of uh, hewn stone. Vitur, um, oh, what's that word? Vitur um, Krusos Arozin, and then one row of uh, cedar. So Shlomo also built wood into the base of Mikdash. So why when Daryovish did it, is he a nudnik? Because he wants to burn down the temple, we assume. And how come when Shlomo Amelech does it, I mean, Shlomo Amelech, it's Gevaldi. So Shlomo Ovid Lemal of you Ovid Lemata. So three, di- three differences. One is that Shlomo put the wood on top, whereas Daryovish put the wood on the bottom. So that Daryovish figured, if I have to burn it down, I'll burn it down from the ground. Whereas Shlomo's um, 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 wood was, was, was on top. Shlomo shake bivinyono you lo shake bivinyono. Uh, Shlomo kind of inlaid it into the building, whereas Dayovish didn't. I guess it makes it um, uh, more uh, burnable. Shlomo sadia besida you lo sadia besida. Also, Shlomo then plastered it, whereas Dayovish didn't plaster it, indicating that um, he may have had intent to uh, burn it down. Rav Yosef v'item Rav Yitzchok Omer Minolon da'achmitz mehocho So says Rav Yosef in the name of Rav Yitzchok how do we know that Dayovish became a nudnik from here? Bayomoli ha'melech v'ashegel Yosheva said so that Nechemia at the beginning of Sefer Nechemia it says that the king said to him and the shegel was sitting next to him. Now we had defined the shegel as being his queen right that his queen was sitting next to him. My shegel what's a shegel? Omer Rav Bar Limo Says Rabbi Lima, Mishmei the Rav in the name of Rav, Kalbisa, uh, a dog that um, Daryovish had over there, a dog that Lemay say he would uh, sleep with the dog, uh, not so gishmak. El Meata, Hodichziv, Valmor Shmai Shomamto, Ulemone Divese, He saw you Kadomoch. But one second, when the Pasuk says in Daniel, that you raised yourself up uh, above Kavayacho, the Eibishter, and they brought out in front of you the uh, vessels from the Beis HaMikdosh, and you and your wife and your Pilagshim, how do you, how do you uh, define Pilagesh? Concubines. Chamra Shosinbo, and you're drinking wine out of these, uh, uh, kalim, these vessels in the base of Mikdash, the Ishogel Kalbusa, and if a Shogel is a dog, he, Kalbusa Bas Mishtaya Chamri, do, do dogs drink wine? Holo Kasha Dimalafala, Vishasya, well, if you train them to, they can eat, they can drink wine. So, so it says, um, Rabba Bar Lima in the name of Rab, that when it says that Daryavish was sitting there with a Shegel, so a Shegel is a dog. The dog that he liked to um, sleep with. Um, and uh, so we see, you know, you're not supposed to do that. So if you do it, you're a nudnik. So he was a nudnik, Lemaise. All right. Um, but one second, we have another, another postage that says, Bnos Molochim Bia Kruseich Nitzvashegel Liminach Bekesim Ophir. So it says, uh, at the time of, of, of uh, the, the, I think in the, uh, in the future, so the daughters of kings will be uh, in your in your uh, glory. And the shego will be standing to your right in kesem ofir and like uh, gold. So if a shego is a dog, what's the great thing about some kind of dog standing there with gold? Like what, what's the point? This is what it means. That in the merit that the Torah is uh, beloved upon the Yidin, like uh, I guess a dog for for Ovde Kochavim Zichisim Keser Ev Ofir. That's why we merited the um, the Kesem Ofir th- this gold. Uh, okay, fine. Be by same way if you want to say the Olim Shegel Malkasahi. Okay, or you could say no. Really, a Shegel actually is a queen. Okay, so the Shegel really is a queen. Well, Rabbi Bar Lima Gemara Gamrila. And Rabbi Barlima had a tradition from 
his teachers that in this case the, the it was a dog. So if it was really if Taryavish had his dog next to him, why did he call it a queen? If Shegel is queen, because he loved the dog so much, like a king would love a queen. Or he would sit the dog next to him in the place where normally the queen would sit. Or how else do I know that Dayovish um, was a nudnik? From here, ad kesef kikrin, ad kesef kikrin meah that um, you know he would give a hundred kikars of kesef of of silver, ad chintin korin meah and a hundred cores of wheat, ad chamar batin meah and one hundred batin bats of uh, of of wine, ad batin meshach meah and um, a hundred um, bats of oil. Umlach di laksav begomer and also salt, which you normally don't take the measure of because it's like not particularly expensive. The ikara meikar blo kitsusa vashdu be kitsusa. That initially, when we saw the pasuk at the top of the page, um, Dayovish was giving out the things for the besamikdash without any measure, just you know as much as possible. Whereas over here, all of a sudden, we're talking about a hundred of this and a hundred of that. He's uh, now limiting it, so he became a nudnik. Vidum meikar lo hava kimle be kitsusa and machvatik shanin meikar. Well, maybe just at the beginning, he just didn't know yet what the limits would be because it was still the beginning. And at the end, he got to understand what the limits would be. So maybe that's, uh, maybe that's why he gave the uh, numbers. Rather, it actually makes sense, like we said, I guess one of the uh, earlier ones that, um, I don't know, maybe it was a nudnik because, um, because uh, he only did it so that he'll get blessed or, or whatever it is. Uh, all right, very interesting. So it sounds like Dayovis became a nudnik. Okay, okay, uh, friends, we are done with the whole king thing, I think, which is good because that was really hard. That was spaghetti. For the regalim and for the festivals, okay, regalim beechad binisanu, bechamisha also binisanu. So, in fact, what do you mean that the festivals are on the first day of Nisan? What what festival? You know, meaning. We're saying that, um, so I guess, what's the first of the festivals? Pesach. Pesach is the 15th of Nisan, not the first of Nisan. So if Chizda says, so Regel Shabo, what he's talking about is, is, is the month starting on the, the first of Nisan, i.e. the month of Nisan. So the Regel Shabo, the festival that's in Nisan, which is Pesach, Rosh Hashanah Liregalim, is the first of all of the Festivals. That the nafkemina is that um, if a fellow makes some kind of a vow that he's going to donate something to the base of Mikdash or offer a korban or something, so then um, he needs to um, offer it in the base of Mikdash. He can't wait too long. And we're going to see now all sorts of different opinions about what waiting too long means. But in terms of that, that would start with Pesach. Let's see. So skip the next three words. Although the next three words I kind of like actually. So Reb Shimini. Let's read them. And it's Reb Shimon's opinion. Because if you remember from Masech the Beitza, so Reb Shimon's opinion is that when we say Baal Ta'acher, don't take too long to offer your Korban. So it has to be three Regalim, but not just any three Regalim, Mikhailu, Pesach, Shavuos, Sukkot, but it has to be in that order. It has to be Pesach, and then Shavuos, and then Sukkot. And that's what we're saying, that Pesach is the, is the, is the, is the Rosh Hashanah, the Regalim, Kilu, it's the first of the Shalash Regalim, because it, you know, when it comes to, uh, offering a Korban too late, it has to be, uh, after three Regalim have passed, but in that particular order, starting with Pesach, and then Shavuos, and then Sukkot. Let's see, as we're gonna see a whole big Machlokas now. The Tan is, we learn in a Brisa, Echad Anoder, whether it's a fellow who, um, um, makes a nether. So in general, I assume that, I assume that nether would be like a Corbin, but apparently a nether here is talking about that he says, I'm going to give my value to the Beis Hamikdash. My value as in like, we would go to the slave market and say, hey, theoretically, if I were to be a slave, how much would I be worth? I kind of wonder, what are they taking into consideration? If they're, if they're going to look at me and like kind of, be like, you know, feel my muscles, they might be a shtickle unimpressed. They might be a shtickle unimpressed. They might be, do they look at other things? Do they, do they like maybe give me like a coding challenge or something? 
I wonder how that works. And then they come up with a number, like Srili is worth, I don't know, maybe they just have a fixed price for Nunniks. <laughs> Whether a fellow uh, just donates something to the base amikdash, the echad amayrich, or if somebody says erich ploni alai. So now, the, what's different about what I just said about the whole evaluation and the code code exams and code challenges and stuff? So the, there's something called an erich, which is a fixed price. You know, I as a um, male who is 33 years old um, at the moment, um, and uh, I have a fixed price. Okay. That's what an Erech is. So, okay, Shavu Olive Gimurugalim over Bival Ta'acher. So, once three festivals pass, he now is over, he violates the prohibition of don't wait too long to bring your sacrifices. So, according to this opinion, it's just any three Regalim. It could be Sukkis, Pesach, Shavuos. It could be Shavuos, uh, Sukkis, Pesach. It could be Pesach, Shavuos, Sukkis. Once three, uh, festivals pass, um, you are violating this thing of not taking too long. Reb Shimon Omer Gemuru Golim Kisijun. Whereas Reb Shimon says, well, you actually need to have three festivals in order. The Chagamatz is Tchila starting with Pesach. So we see that the Mishnah is saying that Pesach is the um, Rosh Hashanah for the Rugalim Kilu. It, Pesach is the first one. So according to Reb Shimon, who says that you need to um, delay the offering of the Corbin by three festivals. It means three festivals in a particular order. That uh, And that order starts with Pesach. And so would Reb Shimon say, Where am I? That when we say that you have to wait, you know, that you violate this Balta Acher of Era after three Regalim, Sometimes it could be three, sometimes it could be four, sometimes it could be five. Ketzad, how is that? Nodr lifnei Pesach. Well, if you make this uh, pledge before Pesach, well then, okay, comes Pesach, comes Shavuos, comes Sukkot. Now you um, you waited too long. Lifnei Atzeres Chamisha. If this happened before Shavuos, well then it'll be five because it'll be Shavuos, Sukkot, Pesach, Shavuos, Sukkot. Because you need to get that Pesach, Shavuos, Sukkot in there. And if, if you make this um, pledge before Sukkot, then it will be four because, um, you, you know, you, you have until after Sukkot and then Pesach and then Shavuos and then finally Sukkot. So that would be four. Taner Abon and the rabbis taught. Chai Adam. Okay, so fellow, uh, you know, says that I'm going to give a, a, a value of a person to the Beis Amitash, whether it's his value, somebody else's value. And that we're talking about like the actual value in the slave market. The Arachin then like Eretz, which is like actual fixed values for people based on your age and your gender. Hachromen, the shows different things that were uh, essentially dedicated, donated to the Beis HaMikdash, committed to the Beis HaMikdash. Chatos, Vahashamos, Korban Chatos, Korban Oshom, Olus Shlomim, Korban Ola, Korban Shlomim, Stokus Umaisus, if you pledge to give charity, right? We just had the um, Yomim Noraim, um, 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 uh, uh, what do we call those? Um, uh, Rosh Hashanah and, um, um, what do we call it? Yom Kippur. So, I don't know about you guys, but where I go to shul, so they auction everything off. Yeah, they auction everything off. So I guess if you, uh, if you pledged to, uh, pay a whole bunch of money so you can, uh, do something over there, so then, so then, uh, don't, uh, you know, do it, pay it off in a timely manner. Umaisus, and also, uh, Maiser Behema, you should do it in a, in a timely manner. Bechor, Umaiser, Upesach, also the Korban Bechor, um, and also, uh, oh, into, oh, so the Maiser over here is Maiser Behema. Ah, Maiseris over there is talking about, like, Trumus Maiseris, okay? Um, Upesach, and also, um, and also the Korban Pesach, okay? Um, we're going to ask Akasha later on, tomorrow's daf, why is Pesach here? Because you don't have three regalim, you just have to bring it on Pesach. Like a Shechach Ufeya, also these, you know, things in the field that you have to leave for the poor people. If you, apparently, I guess, if you took it with you, so you have to 
if you took it instead of leaving it for them, so you have to give it back and don't hold on to it for too long. Okay, sounds like fun stuff, Lemaisa. Once you once three festivals pass, you are violating Balta Acher, as as we saw a minute ago. That's the opinion of the Tanakama, not in any particular order. Rib Shimon Omer Shlosh Rugalim Kesidron. Rib Shimon says, of course, they have to be all in order, starting with Pesach and then Shavuos and then Sukkot. The Chagamatz is Tchila, beginning with Pesach. Rib Meir Omer says the very holy Rib Meir came and Shavu Alein Regel Echod. Once one of the festivals passes, you violate over Bavata Acher, you already violate this prohibition of not waiting too long. Rabbi Yezer ben Yaakov Omer, Kevin Shavu Alein, Shnei Regalim over Bavata Acher. Says Rabbi Yezer that once two festivals pass, so then you violate Baal Te'acher. So, okay, so, so meaning, if you pledge that you're gonna, I don't know, bring a Korban to the base of Mikdash or something, so, if even what if it's if it's just Shavuos, you didn't bring it by Shavuos. So according to Reb Meir, you are violating Baal Ta'acher. According to Reb Lezer Ben Yaakov, it would be two of them. Let's say Shavuos and Sukkot. So then then you would be violating it, even if it wasn't three of them. Reb Lezer Reb Shimon Omer says Reb Lezer Reb Shimon came in Shavuos and Chag Sukkot over Aleim Baal Ta'acher. Says Reb Lezer Reb Shimon, it's all about Sukkot. Once you miss Sukkot, you missed it all. Once Sukkot goes by and you haven't yet offered your korban, you are violating. The Avera of don't take too long. Um, as we saw this in Masechta Be'er. My time on the Tanakhama. How come the Tanakhama says that just three festivals in any particular order? Mirde binayu solik. Well, when the Pasuk says, V'chagamatzah z'v'chagas, Shavuah z'v'chagas, Sukkis, it was already talking about the Shalosh Rugalim. So long li l'mehedeh u'michtok v'chagamatzah z'v'chagas, Shavuah z'v'chagas, Sukkis. So why did the Pasuk then repeat and say once again, Obviously, we're talking about Pesach, Shavuos, and Sukkot. We've been talking about that in the context in that in those Pesukim up until now. So, so what do we learn out from Chagamatzis, Chagashvuos, Chagasukkis? That we learn out that when you make a neder, when you have to bring something to the Beis Hamikdash, you have these three festivals to offer it. After that, you are violating the violation of "Don't take too long." Verb Shimon Omer. So Reb Shimon points out that actually the particular con, the specific context that we are in in those Pesukim is Sukkis. They had already talked about Pesach, they had already talked about Shavuos, we're now talking about Sukkis in those Pesukim. So I really need just, so if we're, even if we're going to reiterate for Baal Ta'acher and, and say once again, repeat, Chaga Matzis and Chaga Shavuos, I still shouldn't have to say Chaga Sukkis because we're already talking about Chaga Sukkis. That's what, that's where the Pesukim's at. So, right, so, you could have left out Chaga Sukkis from the trio because it was already talking about Sukkis in that Pasuk. So, how come we included not just Bechaga Matzis and Chaga Shavuos, but also Bechaga Sukkis? Lomar, Sheze Achren, to say that that's the last one, that, that, that order is, is, is exact. That it's first Pesach and then Shavuos and then Sukkis. Reb Meir, my time, how come Reb Meir says that you only get one shot? After the first festival, if you didn't bring your Corbin or whatever you said you would do, um, you, you, you missed your chance. You're over on Baal Ta'acher. The is the Pasuk says, The Pasuk says, you'll go, Darin, you'll go there to Yerushalayim and you will offer your Corbin there. So the Pasuk is saying, go to Yerushalayim, offer your Corbin. Don't wait until the next time you go to Yerushalayim. When you go to Yerushalayim with the upcoming festival, you offer your Corbin. The rabbis who disagree with uh, Reb Meir, they respond and say, well, when it says that you should go there and bring your korban, it's saying, yeah, ideally you should go and bring your korban. But if you didn't, you still have two more festivals. Reb Meir, whereas Reb Meir responds, came into Amrle Rachmona, Aisi Velo Aisi, Memele, come to Bavata What do you mean that the Pasuk is saying it would be very nice if you offered your korban, but if you didn't, you still have two more festivals to catch up? You know, to take care of it. If the, if, if the Pasuk says, or Reb Meir argues, that if the Pasuk says that you're going to go Dartin, and you're going to offer your Korban Dartin over there in Yerushalayim, so then Mimele, if you don't, you're going to be over in Baal What business is this, says Reb Meir? If the Pasuk says, do it, you do it. What do you mean? It's just nice, nice, but if you didn't do it, you still have two more opportunities. If the Torah says, do it, you do it. If you didn't do it, you've, you've over in Baal What do you want me to tell you? Rabbi Yezub and Yaakov, my timer, how come 
Rabbi Ezra ben Yaakov says that you have two opportunities, you have two festivals, after two festivals you missed it. The Chsev is the Pazak says, Eletaisula la Hashem b'mu'adeichem. Well, these you should do for the Ebishtra on your, on your, on your festivals, plural. Miut mo'adim shnaim. And the minimum of mo'adim is, is two, right? The, the minimum plural amount is two. Therefore, after two, you will be violating Baal Ta'acher. Virabonim. What do the rabbis do with this pasuk of mo'adeichem, from which Rabbi Lezer ben Yaakov learns out, um, that you only have two opportunities? Virabonim ha'hu lech d'rabionim. Wow. So they, they learn out like Rabbi Dom Rabbi Yonah says, Rabbi Yonah, hukshu kola mo'adim kulam zeloze, that all of the festivals are, are, are sort of compared to one another, are connected. Shekulam, mechat ma'atumas mikdash v'kodashav, that the, um, uh, uh, that the, that the, uh, korbanos, the offerings that you bring on these festivals, they, um, atone for any tumma that was contracted, um, for the, from the base of mikdash and, and the holy things. Okay? Fine, very good. That's why it says Mu'adim to compare all of the festivals to one another. Okay. For Belozer Reb Shimon, my taima, how come Reb Belozer Reb Shimon says that it's all about Sukkis, that once Sukkis passes, you're going to be violating Baal Ta'acher, no matter if it's the first one, the second one, or the third one. Okay, the first festival to come up, the second festival to come up, the third festival to come up. Once Sukkis passes, you're violating Baal Ta'acher. How come Reb Belozer Reb Shimon says that? The Tanya, as we learned in the Baisa, Reb Belozer Reb Shimon, Omer, says Reb Belozer Reb Shimon, lo yo, lo, Yomar or Ye Omer, Lo Yomar, Lo Ya A A A. No, that would be too many Alphs. Lo Ya Umir. Okay. I don't know. Lo Yomar Chag Asukis Shwadibra Akasuf. So like so Rabbi Rab Shimon says, just like his father said, the Pasuk didn't really need to mention Chag Asukis because it was already talking about Chag Asukis. Lo Manemar. So how come it says Chag Asukis? Um Lomar Shazeg Gorim, to say that it's all about Sukkis. It's all dependent on Sukkis. Once Sukkis passes, you are violating in violation of Baal Te'acher. Um, yeah, it doesn't even have to be three regalim. Once Sukkis passes, whether it's the first regal to come up, whether the second regal to come up, or the third regal to come up, you will be violating Baal Te'acher of waiting too long. Reb Meir, Reb Lezer ben Yaakov, Hai B'chag Amatzez, B'chag Ashwaz, B'chag Asukis, Maidar Shubay, so, now according to Rabbi Meir and Rabbi, and Rabbi Lezer ben Yaakov, who learn out from different psukim, Rabbi Meir learns out that you only have one regel, according to Rabbi Lezer ben Yaakov, you have two regel, and they learn out from other psukim. What do they do with the Pasuk of B'chag HaMatzaz, B'chag HaShvuz, B'chag HaSukis, from which everybody else learns out Baal Ta'acher? What do they learn out from that Pasuk? Ha'am B'chag HaMatzaz, B'chag HaShvuz, B'chag HaSukis, my Dar Shubay, what do they do with that Pasuk? Mibayilu l'ichadu Elazer Amr Boshaya. Oh. So they need it for Belazar and Rabboshaya says, Dom Belazar and Rabboshaya says, 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 How do I know that Shavuos, you can make up for the Korban Chagiga for all seven days? Meaning, so when, you know, by the Shalosh Rugalim, one of the Korbanos that you bring is a Shalmei Chagiga, a Korban Chagiga. Soon enough, in, uh, you know, after Mesech the Rosh Hashanah comes Tainus and then Megillah and then Moikotin, and then Chagiga. So we're going to learn all about the Korban Chagiga, Mistama. I've never learned Korban Chagiga. Mistama will learn about it over there. But on the Shal Shugalim, you, you offer Korban Chagiga. Now, uh, let's say the first day of Pesach, you didn't offer a Korban Chagiga. No problem. You could bring it the second day, third day. You have up until the end of the festival, the holiday, to bring the Korban Chagiga and make it up. Now, Shavuos, of course, is only one day. So how do I know that if I missed my, if I, if I missed offering the Korban Chagiga on the one day of Shavuos, I still have six days to make it up. So, Tamud Omar, as the Pasuk says, B'chag HaMatzas, B'chag HaShavuos, B'chag HaSukis, well, it says in the Pasuk, Pesach, Shavuos, and Sukis, Makish, B'chag HaShavuos, L'chag HaMatzas, right? It says B'chag HaMatzas, B'chag HaShavuos, right? So we compare Shavuos to, to, to Pesach. Machag, Hamatzis yesh lo tashlum kol shiva. Just like on Pesach, if you didn't offer the um, korban Pesach, uh, one second, I'll be right back. So just like on Pesach, if you didn't bring the korban Chagiga on the first day of Pesach, you could uh, make it up all the rest of the days of Pesach. So also on uh, Shavuos, if you didn't do it on the first day, so then you also you, you have another six days. If you didn't do it on on Shavuos itself, which is a one day festival, you have another six days to offer your Korban Chagiga. 
ולקש לחג הסוכס פור וואן סקל. The positive says בחג המאצס ובחג השבועס ובחג הסוכס. שבועס is sandwich by both um, פסח and סוכס. So how can we, we're deciding to compare שבועס to פסח, why not compare שבועס to סוכס? מה לא הולנד שמונה אף כאן שמונה? Just like by סוכס you have eight days to offer the korban חגיגה because the שמיני עצר is אויכת also. So maybe also by Shavuos, you should have eight days to offer the korban chagiga. Shmini regal b'fnei atzmahu. To which Sigmar says, no. Sukkot doesn't actually have eight days, you know, to to offer the korban chagiga. So it says seven days to offer the korban chagiga, but there's also Shmini atzeres, which is a separate festival. So therefore, you know, even if you compare Shavuos to Sukkot, so it's still going to be seven days because we don't count Shmini atzeres for that. אמור דה אמינון שמיני רגל בפני עצמו לינן פרק זר קשר אבל לינן תשלום דבר הכל תשלום דבר ראשונו. So one second. Let's read that again. אמור דה אמינון שמיני רגל בפני עצמו. Maybe I'll say one second. When we say that the שמיני עצרס is its own festival. Maybe I'll say that that's לינן פזר קשר. I think this is the third time already we're seeing פזר קשר. פזר קשר is an acronym for six things. Right? Pious that... Um, in terms of the, 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 the lots, right, the lots were suspended over Sukkot. They wouldn't draw lots for who would uh, do all the avoda. Rather, they would like to divide it up among the uh, different mishmaros. Zman, that you would say, Shechionu. Um, um, Reish. What was Reish again? Um, uh-oh. What was Reish? Uh, Pezer. Um, uh-oh. One second. Uh, oh gosh, one second, Zman. Oh, Regal, that is Regal with Nazareth, it's like its own festival. Kesh, uh, Kuf is Korbanos, it has its own Korbanos. The Shin is, um, uh oh, uh, what's the Shin? Uh, oh, Shir, it has its own song, and then Bez is that it gets like its own bracha, like its own blessing. Okay, so let's say that Shmini Atzeris is its own festival in the regard that there are, you know, there are certain things that are unique about it. Avalinin Tashlumen. But let's say that with regard to Tashlumen, when we say that if you didn't bring the Korban Chagiga on the first day of Sukkot, that you can make it up all eight days, let's say that Shemini Atzeris is not separate in that regard. And actually Sukkot, we would consider it to have eight days of Tashlumen and not just seven. So, so let's say, right? So, aval le'inin Tashlumen, devehakol Tashlumen derishonu. So, the Tanan, as we learn in the Mishnah, Mishlochog Yom Tov Arishon Shalchat, if a fellow, if a fellow, uh, didn't offer the Korban Chagiga on the first day of Sukkot. Chogeg es kol aregel v'yom tava achron shel chag. So you can offer the Korban Chagiga for, you know, all of the days of, of, of Sukkot, as well as Shmini Atzeris. So we see that Sukkot actually does have eight days of Tashlumen. So therefore, if it says v'chag amasus, v'chag shvus, v'chag sukkis, that it says Pesach and Shvus and Sukkot, and we're trying to figure out for Shvus if it has tash, ha, the, the Tashlumen, so why compare it to Pesach to say seven days? Why can't you compare it to Sukkot to say eight days? So and for the Gemara, Tafasta Merubalo Tafasta. Tafasta Mu'a Tafasta, like we saw in Mesech the Sukkah, that if you try to chop around too much, you get nothing. Whereas if you try to chop around less, um, then, then, then you'll get it. I mean, so Rashi explained a very beautiful Mesech the Sukkah, which meant that, you know, Tafasta Merubalo Tafasta. If you chop around a lot, Meaning, if, if there, if you have like, kind of, have to make a decision, you know, potentially you could take more, but you might have to give it back. Well, if you take more, if you have to give it back, then you're gonna have to, you know, lose something. Whereas if you take less, and then it turns out that you were enabled, entitled for more, well then that's a bonus, right? So, so, um, that's actually interesting. Um, okay, anyways, so, and in, in this context, basically what we're saying is, look, if we can compare Shavuos, to Pesach, which is Tashlumen for seven days, or compared to Sukkot, which is Tashlumen for eight days, we say, look, Tafasta Mubalo Tafasta, don't go for the, for the bigger one, just go for the more conservative one, and, and, and that'll work. So make the comparison to Pesach, and that will be good. And therefore, uh, Shavuos has, has uh, Tashlumen for seven days like Pesach. Well, if that's the case, that we're comparing Shavuos to Pesach, what do we do with the fact that it says, What do we do with Sukkot? 
kushe lechag hamatzis. Well, because we want to compare Sukkot to Pesach. Machag hamatzis to lino, just like on Pesach, you stay over in Yushalayim after Seder night. You stay for one more day, you know, uh, one more night. So you're there Seder night, and then you're there for the first day of Yom Tov, and you sleep over the following night as well. Avchag asukis to lino, you do the same thing on Sukkot as well. You come for Sukkot to Yushalayim, you stay for the first night, then you have the first day of Yom Tif, you have Yom Tif in Yushalayim, and then you at least stay for the following night as well from Mutsoy Yom Tif. Behosom minolan, how do I know that by Pesach you stay over that second night as well? Tichsev is the Pazak says, Ufonisiv Abokov Alachal Alecha, that then you'll wake up on the first day of Cholamoid and you can go home then. Vitanakam of Rib Shimin, Tashlum Latzer is Minolu. So now according to the Tanakam and Rib Shimin, who learn out from Bechagamatzis, Bechagashvus, Bechagasukis, that Balta uh, Acher, well then how do they know that um, Shavuos has Tashlumen? So, Nafka Lehu Midetani Rabba Bar Shmuel. Well, they learn it out from like Rabba Bar Shmuel, the Tani Rabba Bar Shmuel, the Rabba Bar Shmuel taught, Om Retor Menei Yomim V'Kadesh Chodesh, Menei Yomim V'Kadesh Atzeres. The Pasuk says, count days and then it will be Rosh Chodesh, and also count days, and then it will be Shavuos, right? It says, in the context of the Slav, it says, Archodesh Yom, a month of days. And also it says by Shavuos, Tisbu Chamishim Yom. So just like it says by Rosh Chodesh, Minei Yom V'Kadesh Chodesh, right? Count days, and then you'll have Rosh Chodesh, Minei Yom V'Kadesh Atzeris, and then the Torah also says count days, and then you'll have um, Shavuos, Machodesh Lim Nuyov, Af Atzeris Lim Nuyov. So just like when you have Rosh Chodesh, Rosh Chodesh is for one unit of the month. So just like the Pasuk says, Ar Chodesh Yomim, uh, a month of days. So then how long is Rosh Chodesh that we have to like bring our, our, our uh, Korbanus? So one day, one, right? A, a month, it's Chodesh Yomim, a month of days. And then you come to Rosh Chodesh, which is one day. So also when it comes to um, Shavuos, when we're counting, so what are we counting? We're counting weeks. One unit when it comes to Shavuos is a week. It's, right? Um, 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 what does it say? Sheva Shabbosos Timimo Siena. It'll be seven full weeks. So one unit by Shavuos is a week. And therefore by Shavuos, you have um, one week for the Korbanos for Tashlumen. In fact, the Gemara, Ema, Atzeres chad yoma, but maybe we'll, I'll say that, wait, but just like by Atzeres, we pointed out, it says, Tispu chamishim yom, you'll count for 50 days. So one unit by Shavuos is actually a day. So why don't we say that you actually only have one day to offer the Korban Chagiga. Amurave atu Atzeres, yom ma ninon, Shavuos, lo ma ninon. Rave says what? When it comes to Shavuos, do we only count days? We don't count weeks. For Amur Mar, we said, Mitzvah lemimne yom, Mitzvah lemimne Shavuos. That you not only count days, but you also count the weeks, right? We say, right, ayom, uh, I don't know, shmona yom, shem, shavua, echad, yom echad, omer. Can we mention days and we mention week, uh, weeks? The old, chag shavuos, ksiv. Also, the festival, for crying out loud, is called the week, fe- the festival of weeks, shavuos. So therefore, it would make sense to say that, um, when it comes to tashlumen, so, so you have one week of Tashlumen when it comes to Shavuos. Friends, that was Daf Dalit of Mesechta and Rosh Hashanah. So the first part of the Daf was, um, uh, continuing with Rav Chizda's assertion that, um, Nisan is the Rosh Chodesh for Jewish kings, but Tishrei is Rosh Chodesh for Gentile kings. And we ask questions based on Daryavish. It turns out, well, Daryavish at one point in his life was a kosher was a, a good fellow. So we counted his reign by Nisan like the like the Jewish kings. But then he became a shtikl nudnik and we had all sorts of proofs for that. So then he uh, we would count at the end based on Tishrei, uh, like the Gentile kings. Then we move on in our um, Mishnah where we begin to talk, where, where we talk about uh, the festivals. Regalim, we say that Pesach essentially is the first of the festivals. And we see that it's like the opinion of Rib Shimon who says that regarding Baal Te'acher, that don't take too long, right? You don't want to wait too long to offer your korbanis. So Rib Shimon says, um, what does Rib Shimon say? So, so, so by korbanis, if you have to bring a korban, so don't wait three festivals in, uh, to, to offer it. After three festivals, it's too long. It says Rib Shimon that those three festivals have to be in order, starting with Pesach. It has to be Pesach and then Shavuos and then Sukkot. 
uh, once Pesach and then Shavuos and then Sukkot is passed, you will be violating Baal Te'acher. The Tanakhama says that no, even um, out of order. It could be Shavuos, Sukkot, Pesach, whatever it is. They, they could be out of order and that's fine as well. Um, we saw the opinion of Rib Meir who says that um, even just one of the festivals, if you pass one of the festivals, so then uh, it's too late. We saw the opinion of Rebbe Leizer ben Yaakov who says if it's two festivals that pass, it is too late. And then we see the opinion of Rebbe Leizer ben Shimon who says that once Sukkot passes, you will be violating um, Baal Ta'acher. We then move on to the sugya of uh, Tashlumen, which means that when it comes to the Shalosh Regalim, you bring a Korban Chagiga at the beginning of the festival. And um, if you didn't bring it on the first day of, let's say, Pesach, so you can continue to bring it for the duration of Pesach. Also, Sukkot, you can continue to bring it for the duration of Sukkot uh, for eight days. You could bring a Korban Chagiga. Shavuos is one day, so we end up, so how do we know that Shavuos is, uh, also has Tashlumen? You can also bring the Korban Chagiga for an additional six days, for a total of seven days. So we had two ways of understanding. One is it to compare one is to say, well, that we compare um, uh, Shavuos to Pesach. To say it's just like Pesach has Tashlumen for seven days. Also, um, Shavuos has Tashlumen for seven days. Um, and another way to understand it is that, well, we compare it to Rosh, Hashan, Rosh Chodesh. Just like by Rosh Chodesh, you count days and then you get to Rosh Chodesh, which is one day. Also by Shavuos, we count weeks and then we get to um, Shavuos and you have one week to offer the Korban Chagiga. Friends, that was Daf um, Dalid, no, Daf Gimel of Mesechta, no, Daf Dalid of Mesechta Rosh Hashanah. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day. Peace out.